the Nintendo online service is already awesome. Let's talk. Hello humans and today I want to talk about Nintendo's online service. What did it take about uh, 5, maybe 15 seconds before <laughs> people started complaining about the online service and everything it doesn't offer? I don't know and I mean I have no clue how somebody can look at this service and to think that is terrible or horrible or has no value whatsoever. You know, but today it's going to be a first on the show. I'm going to have a special guest because, you know, as you know, I hate and I mean I despise clickbaiters and e-beggars on the internet, which a lot of these problems or opinions come from. So I wanted to have a independent, unbiased opinion. It's by an expert. So today on the show, I present to you an editorial piece, I guess, by Flying Fox, so he can put his two cents on what he thinks about this uh, pending controversy. Let's see. Flying Fox. Thank you for having me on the show. I think all the e-beggars and clickbaiters should be bent over and... Buddy, buddy, pump the brakes. Okay, we got you. Wow, it's a strong opinion there. But, you know, oh man. That was a little strong, right? You know, there is no way, and I mean no way in heck, that you can think that this is not a good value. Why? Because you have, at launch, you have 20 games from the NES library that you can play, right? I want you guys to tell me, without uh, using ROMs, uh, where can you get 20 NES games downloaded for a dollar a piece? I'll wait. You can't. You can't do it, right? Unless you're gonna get, you know, ROMs or pirated copies, you're not gonna find that, right? Maybe in a garage sale, how long is it gonna take you? But to have these on the go, and if you're somebody that enjoys the NES and the older games there, there's only 20 at launch, but there's gonna be a lot more, right? And that's what they're promising, and that's great. I mean, just right there, you get your $20 right off the bat. If they did nothing else, right? If they did, did not give you a single other thing, that would be enough to say, you know what, there's some value in this. At least I'm getting my money's worth as far as the $20. Now, let's remember, this is $20 a year a month right and uh, compare it to what people are asking for nowadays monthly right what do you think you get more value of um, the $20 a year that Nintendo's asking you or the donations that uh, the clickbaiters are asking you for on patreon every month <laughs> savage right but it's true this is real value now is the system perfect no does it have issues? Yes, right? But that doesn't mean they're not gonna get taken care of, you know? All this overreaction is really just a symptom of what YouTube has become today. For the average Joe that enjoys the NES, this is a great value, regardless of what you can do with other games. That would be value added, right? Because, you know, the. The service is basically paying it for itself. If you are the type that plays these games or would consider, you know, buying them, or if you bought games before on the eShop, 
you know, it pays for itself. There's other things. Are there problems? Yes. You know, they, there's issues with the um, cloud saves. Does that mean they're not going to be fixed? No. You know, companies listen to their consumers, right? Will there probably be an extra charge? Probably, right? These guys are in the business of making money. But I think for starters, the fact that they brought the, the price way down is, man, shots have been fired, right? It's a positive step, man. And would it be great, you know, I mean, it's going to be something greater than playing. <laughs> And playing, you know, the first Mario online, right? That the first Mario was a great game with two players. You know, when you were playing it by yourself, it wasn't as fun. But I remember, you know, in the arcade, if, if you played it with two people, uh, it just became a lot more fun, especially when the timer is running down, right? And it's clicking and clicking. And uh, Double Dragon, right? Double Dragon, if you could play two players with your buddy online and reminisce about the old times, you know, where, where you're playing this at the arcade and and dropping quarters. Is that value? Man, of course it is, man. I mean, could the chat be better? Yes, you know. Could other things be improved? Yes. But can you improve the price? Does it does it get better than 20 bucks to do this? No. No. And for a lot of these idiots to be saying, oh, it's it's even worse than I thought. Oh, the drama. Oh man, I mean, they're just over, over the top, you know, and they, they, they criticize every little thing and, and, and man, they, these guys have really lost their way, right? I mean, some of these guys can't relate to the regular folk anymore. They can't relate to us because they, now they live in another planet, right? That's one of the reasons I started making videos, not to be watched, just because what I was seeing was just so nuts. Right? Everybody's so so uh, focused on getting views and being on Twitch and getting donations that games have become secondary, man. Games have become, uh, you know, something that, that uh, they only focus on if it's popular right now, right? If it can get them views right now. And being overcritical of things apparently gets you a lot of views. But I'd rather just talk about what I see as far as values. If nobody sees the video, I don't really care, <laughs> right? If like, people that, that want to have honest conversations or, or you know, uh, talk about things, they, you know, in a regular manner, and uh, maybe they have some good points and interact, that's that's awesome. But this overreaction and melodrama, man, that's that's unbecoming of a few gentlemen out there and um, I hope they do better. I hope for the sake of YouTube, the gaming community starts doing better than a lot of what we see today. Anyway guys, love it. The Nintendo Switch online is gonna be awesome. Remember what I always tell you, what I always tell you, man, this English thing is getting to me. <laughs> Remember what I always tell you, never, and I mean ever, be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Oh, it got savage, and it's going to get better.